Viru Kimia Group is an Estonian holding group of oil shale industry, power generation, and public utility companies. SME Nyesti Palev Kivatustis After Estonia gained independence, the state owned oil shale enterprise, Raigi Palev Kivatustis, was established as a department of the Ministry for Trade and Industry on November 24, 1918. Shale oil production started in Estonia in 1921 when Raigi Palev Kivatustis built 14 experimental oil shale processing retorts in Koatla Yarve. These vertical retorts use the method developed by Julius Pinch AG that would later evolve into the current Kivator processing technology. Along with the shale oil extraction plant, an oil shale research laboratory was founded in 1921. Following the experimental retorts, the first commercial shale oil plant was put into operation on December 24, 1924. This is considered as a beginning of the history of Viru Kimia Group. In October 1936, Raigi Palev Kivatistis was reorganized as the government-owned joint stock company and was renamed SME Nyesti Palev Kivatistis. It operated three shale oil extraction plants and was constructing the fourth plant. After occupation of Estonia by the Soviet Union, the company was subordinated to the Soviet authorities in December 1940. During the subsequent German occupation, the industry was merged into a company named Baltische Old GmbH, subordinated to Continental Ol. During the following Soviet occupation, the company became the Koatla Yarve Shale Oil Combinate. In 1948, the company opened an oil shale gas plant, and for several decades the oil shale gas was used as a substitute for natural gas in St. Petersburg and in northern Estonian cities. It was the first time in history that synthetic gas from oil shale was used in households. In 1995, the Koatla Yarve factory and factory in Kivili were merged into the single company named Raz Kivitor. In 1997, Kivitor was privatized and a year later it declared insolvency. Its factory in Koatla Yarve was acquired by newly established Viru Kimia Group. In 2008, the company received a permit for developing the Boltish oil shale deposit in Ukraine. VKG Oil opened three new galoder type oil plants called Petroder correspondingly in December 2009, in October 2014, and in November 2015. In January 2016, the company announced that due to low oil price, it will close the old oil plants using Kivitor technology and lay off 500 workers. VKG's two main areas of operations are shale oil extraction, and electricity and heat production and distribution. VKG Ojama Mine The subsidiary producing shale oil is VKG Oil. The company utilizes two different processes, Kivitor and Galoder. The company also tested but rejected the Alberta Tejuk process. In total, VKG Oil processes 2 million tons of oil shale per year, producing 250,000 tons of shale oil. The company operates several Kivitor retorts, the largest of them having a processing capacity of 40 tons per hour of oil shale feedstock. These retorts are currently out of operation due to low oil price. It also operates three galoder type retorts called Petroder. Engineering of the retort was done by Adam Energio Project of St. Petersburg. Engineering of the condensation and distillation plant was done by Rentno of Finland. The first Petroder plant has a processing capacity of 1. 1 million tons of oil shale per year and it produces 100,000 tons of shale oil, 30 million cubic meters of oil shale gas, and 150 gigawatt hours of steam per year. VKG Energia VKG's subsidiary VKG Energia, a power and heat generation company, was established in 2004 after VKG bought the Kohatla Yarve power plant and the Kohatla Yarve heat distribution system from Kohatla Yarve Sujis. In 2005, it bought another power plant in Kohatla Yarve from Fordham Termist. In 2006, VKG bought a 40, 8% stake in Koatla Yarve Sujis, an operator of the Atmi power plant, and in 2010 it took a full control of the company, now VKG Sujis. All generations capacities were transferred to VKG Energia while VKG Sujis is responsible for heat distribution. All generations capacities were transferred to VKG Energia while VKG Sujis is responsible for heat distribution. VKG Energia has installed electrical capacity of 80 MW and heat capacity of 700 MW. In July 2006, VKG acquired Narva Electrovork, the second largest power distribution company in Estonia, and renamed it VKG Electrovorid. In April 2011, VKG acquired assets of a bankrupt company Silbet Plock that manufactured center blocks for construction from oil shale burning residue. The company was renamed VKG Plock. 
The coalition agreement of Yuri Rata's second cabinet formed in 2019 between the Center Party, Ikre and Propatria, expresses support to the development of the local oil industry. Therefore, VKG and Yesti Energia decided to initiate a cost-benefit study aimed at establishing an oil pre-refining plant in Ida Viru County. The plant would require a 650 million euro investment. Viru Kimia Group main subsidiaries of VKGR. Thanks for watching.